Meanwhile, the United Nations General Assembly on Thursday passed a resolution proposed by Ukraine named Humanitarian Consequences of the Aggression Against Ukraine. The resolution drafted by Ukraine and two dozen other countries from all parts of the world and co-sponsored by nearly 100 nations, which clearly states that Russia's aggression is responsible for the growing humanitarian emergency. The assembly was also to consider a rival South African resolution that makes no mention of Russia and is similar to the defeated Security Council resolution. Earlier, United Nations Security Council defeated a resolution proposed by Russia regarding Ukraine humanitarian situation. Before that, Russia introduced its resolution on March 15th, while a day earlier, France and Mexico decided to move their proposed humanitarian resolution, blaming the Russian invasion for the humanitarian crisis out of the Security Council where it faced a Russian veto. And full respect for international humanitarian law, human rights and refugee law. The protection of civilians is imperative. Humanitarian access must be ensured. Indonesia was actively involved in discussion at the UN General Assembly to pass a resolution regarding Ukraine's humanitarian situation Thursday night or Friday morning Indonesia time at the UN headquarters in New York. Yes, according to Indonesia's chief representative to the UN, Armanata Nasir, Indonesia wants to ensure that international community can hasten to handle the situation in Ukraine, which keeps getting worse. The new resolution of humanitarian consequences of the aggression against Ukraine was adopted Thursday night. Dalam pembahasan resolusi ini, Indonesia memberikan berbagai masukan substansi yang konstruktif guna memastikan segera dilakukannya deeskalasi konflik dijaminnya akses bantuan kemanusiaan, dijaminnya safe passage dan evakuasi bagi warga sipil, serta mendorong negosiasi dan dialog untuk hentikan konflik. Tujuan Indonesia hanya satu, memastikan masyarakat internasional dapat segera mengatasi situasi.